Oh, I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. Oh, this is going to be hype. So we have rank 2 and 3 against rank 4 and 6. Literally the only people who are higher rated than Khaled is first killer on Monkey Moon, who's also French, by the way, <laughs> but isn't playing today for France. So we have Alpha 54 and Fairy Peak against Ahmed and Khaled. France, in my opinion, are the team to beat in 2v2, uh, but KSA have also won two out of two series that they've played on my stream. And the most recent one, their demolition job um, against Canada, was nothing short of astonishing. I had everybody calling for KSA against Finland, KSA against France. Well, we've got KSA against France, and it is not a difficult, or it's not an easy, rather, France team to beat. Obviously, there are lots of high rated French players, but Alpha 54 and Fairy Peak are the second and third highest rated among them. Only Monkey Moon is higher. And Alpha 54 and Fairy Peak have got a lot of history of success on my stream. It's Fairy Peak and the Dominus against O'Kallan and Ahmad. Repping the Octanes. Pinch early from Ahmad does not work out. I'm looking for Alpha to be the aggressor um, between himself and Fairy Peak. I'll we'll have to wait and see. If it does pan out like that. But he's got a bit of space here. Now Fairy Peak's got an option to shoot this on target. O'Callaghan's going to get their time, and Alpha's also gone in for this. Early chance for O'Callaghan and Ahmed to counterattack. There's another booming shot. After a pass in defense, you've got to look out for the passes from the KSA boys. Hey, Lethbridge, thanks for the raid, man. Really appreciate that. Hopefully you had a good stream. I'm honestly get, getting hosted by everybody today. I don't know what's happening, but I appreciate that a lot. Rain. Good strength there by Khaled. Standing up against the pressure of Alpha. A fairy peak. Going to try and knock it in field to Alpha, who is already up for this. Looking for a double touch by the looks of things. And the first touch was not what he was looking for. Nice little recovery there by Ahmad. He's straight into a bump. And now Khaled is going to shut down the clear options of Alpha. Lots of bumps coming in for KSA. Mind games for Ahmad. He gets it past both of them. Here comes Khaled. Oh, he smashed the crossbar. That was such a golden opportunity. They're not going to get an easier chance than that. It's almost too easy for a player like Khaled, who's scored some absolutely cracking goals last time he was on stream. Seems like this time he just had so much time that he overthought it. Ended up hitting the crossbar. But early on, it's plain to see that the KSA boys are able to hang. There's no surprise after taking a quick glance at the rank ladder. The lowest ranked player in this lobby is Khaled. And he is rank six. <laughs> That's pretty high rated lobby. Ahmad is uh, ranked fourth at the moment behind Fairy Peak and Alpha. But they're so evenly matched here despite this slight ping disadvantage for the Middle East boys, but Khaled's under pressure here. Doesn't have any boost. He's done quite well to scare Fairy Peak away. Great read by Ahmad, but he's got to do more. Alpha's put it over his head. The boost advantage for France might be too much. It's actually a bad touch there from Ahmad to, or rather from Alpha, knocking it away from Fairy Peak. Still, the passing plays in defense for KSA are, I think, the best that we've seen from any 2v2 team on stream recently. They really do transition the ball from defense into a blaster of a shot on net quicker than any other team I've seen. It's Alpha looking for an aerial bump onto Ahmad. So evenly matched. This is on a knife edge at the moment. Alpha, one man wrecking crew, takes the ball for himself and all the boosts as well. He's cut it past Ahmad. Okal with perfect spacing challenges in the split second he had before Alpha was going to retake control. Still, that one big chance for KSA. And now another one for Ahmad. Flip reset. Oh, it's on the goal line. It's going to go in. Sorry, Khaled. My bad. Their cars look so similar. But he got a flip reset last time he was on stream. And this one might be even better. What a shot. Fairy Peak tried to keep it out. I think Ahmad was going to just smash it over the goal line. Even if Fairy Peak did recover for a double save. But that is insane. Oh, Khaled, in both of his live stream show match performances so far, has scored a flip reset. Unbelievable. And both of them, you have to look at them and say, that's the only way that he can even get the ball into the goal. Fairy Peak is going to be quick to respond. Oh, Khaled got a touch on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's poor by Ahmad. He's just can giving it straight to the opponents. For these guys? Secretly hoping KSA keeps tearing it up. Prize pool going for these guys. Well, we absolutely can. Stacky Chan with 25 quid in the prize pool. I mean, 
with a game one like this, it definitely is worthy of a prize pool. Alpha's aggression, still looking threatening. Very big second goal for him. And Hamad leaves O'Callaghan alone in the back once again. That's a really risky aerial, not a good recovery. And that hesitation by O'Callaghan left himself wide open for the bump. And Alpha's looking for a lot of bumps so far in this game. There's the demo strat on the kickoff from KSA. They almost had it working out. They're so good at that one as well. The only team who have executed it effectively on stream ever. What a game one we're seeing here. Ahmad's looking a little bit jumpy. That's the one thing that's worrying. And Alpha 54 with a flip reset of his own. Makes it 3-1. He had so much time here. Ahmad wasn't even close. And he, the reset and the flick were just way too good for Khaled, who's sitting in the goal line. But that's two flip resets out of four goals. One for each team. But France, after going down early, or not early, but going down first, have responded well. Look at the little wave dash there by Ahmad. That was a pretty insane recovery for him. He's missed a lot of power on that shot, though. And it's Ahmad who looks a little bit dodgy so far this game. He needs to step it up if the KSA boys are going to win this. So Khaled, meanwhile, has just 1v2'd France. Brings it down. Escapes Alpha, who probably wanted to ball chase there, to be honest. He didn't do Fairy Peak a lot of favours by running away from that one. But Khaled found the top corner. And then they're back within one, a minute on the clock. Ahmad close to the cheat. He's panicked, flipped, and gone away from it. But Khaled's in the way. Off Alpha. Very peak to Alpha. He smashed the crossbar. Ahmad's there. It's 50 seconds left. Still Khaled. Looking like the more deadly of the two Middle Eastern players. But we know Ahmad's got a lot of live stream show match experience to draw upon. I'm sure we'll be seeing him elevate his game. Oh, wow. The <laughs> aerial pinch. For KSA, is there anything these guys can't do? <laughs> Holy cow. That one absolutely flew towards the net. Now here's the passing play. Ahmad decides to take it alone. He's going to try and dunk it in, and he will. And Ahmad will wake up before the end of game one. It's three all. What a game one we are witnessing. What a comeback by the Saudi Arabian lads. 23 seconds left. Ahmad on the kickoff against Alpha 54. It's no cheat this time. Nice little back right kickoff for KSA. Khaled is going to land the flip reset. He's a bit in front of the ball. Not much power this time. Ahmad alone at the back. He's twisting and turning into a clear. He's stayed well with this one. Let's keep it away from Fairy Peak. Alpha looking to pinch it. Doesn't get on the right side of the ball. He's actually knocked it away from Fairy. The miscommunication of France has been there a few times. KSA are looking a lot more tidy and organized. And Ahmad can't keep it up. He really wanted to get that on top of his car. A double diagonal kickoff. No shenanigans on this one from KSA. Aman has the boost advantage here. Decides to just keep France honest with a ground shot. Take their boost on the far side. Khaled slows it down. Crossbar defended by Fairy Peak. It's just side to side here for KSA and France are starting to look dodgy. Alpha almost loses his life there. And there's a slow play. Mind game from Khaled to the top corner. And he's just been an absolute monster in game one. Third goal for O'Callaghan. He mind games Alpha and still generates so much power on the shot. Fairy peak on the goal line with nothing. Can't get close enough. And just like that, KSA get one of the most impressive wins I've ever seen on stream. That was astonishing for a game one in 2v2. We're going to get uh, possibly a server swap here. I'll ask uh, Khaled. If he wants to swap, he says he's lagging a little. I mean, if that's him when he's lagging. But wow, this is absolutely delivering. Just waiting to see if Khaled asks for a service swap here. He told me he's lagging. Okay, he just needs a minute. He's going to tell his family to stop watching YouTube videos or something. <laughs> I think he might be playing on he, he might be playing on Wi-Fi right now, which is crazy. Oh, Khaled, the Season 9 Floor Destroyer. <laughs> he's just destroyed France in Game 1. Uh, yeah, compared to EU players, of course, he's constantly lagging. But these guys are so used to this, it probably doesn't make a difference anymore. Like 100 ping, 90 ping, whatever for these guys. They're ready. They're ready to play. He, d he said he doesn't want a server swap. He's just uh, going to probably tell somebody in his house to stop using the internet for the next few minutes. So let's get into this one. Game number two, France under pressure. And... Uh, it was mostly O'Callaghan doing the work in game one, but Ahmad stepped up and equalized. It's 
looking for an early goal himself. Not enough boost to reach it. His trajectory looked good, but quite ambitious to be going off that high. The ball's bounced past Khaled. He got dribbled by a wall. And it's Alpha again looking deadly with the demos across the box. It was Khaled slowing it down at the near post. A pre-flip for Ahmad. Puts it over Fairy's head. And now Alpha and Fairy bring it forward with more bumps. Alpha to the backboard. It's a low boost so Khaled. He's going to knock it clear. Good little fake challenge there on the wall for Ahmad. The real challenge does not connect though. So Khaled's alone at the back again. Ahmad will bring into the play on the other side. It's a great flick to the side wall. Oh, Khaled tries to find the top right corner. It's just into the crossbar. Now Demo's being threatened. Alpha looking, as always, to play a grounded game when he can. Very peak. Looking for a double touch to the looks of things. And only finds a very corner of the field. Not too dangerous. What a read by Alpha. He's kept this one alive a lot longer than you might have expected. And that's chaos at the back for KSA. Alpha has got them in a bit of a mess. And now he's going to mind game and dunk it in for 1 0. That's just Alpha dominating right to left. Ceiling boost. Blocking clears. And now blocking a save for 1 0. The, uh, the KSA boys just couldn't get out of their half there. They needed a power clear to reset. Wow, okay, Alpha with a pinch of his own, and that's gone pretty quickly towards the net. Well, that Ahmad is going to get a block on it. Oh, wow, look at this by KSA. Ahmad, oh no, he's hit the crossbar twice. What an angle shot that would have been after O'Khalid's demo. Ahmad's still looking for more, but Alpha has got his number, and the half flip will secure the ball and boost in the corner. It's all been used though. Khaled's now going to run it past Alpha. Fairy Peak alone at the back. Under pressure. Looking pretty comfortable though. Just baits in Ahmad and flicks it over to KSA. More aerial plays. This time it's Alpha on the wrong end of an aerial dunk. Fairy Peak knocking it into the ceiling. Alpha with a redirect. It's been a quiet series so far for Fairy Peak. He's had a couple of goals in game number one, but We'll see Alpha, as we expected, running around, causing problems for KSA. Now, Ahmed again looking jumpy. This is one of his more one of his more nervous looking performances so far. Now, I've got to give a you know huge props to O'Khalid for coming on. This is only his second ever show match on stream. His debut was against Canada where they crushed it. And now he's in his second match against France. And that is a pretty good response by, Al by Ahmad again to any criticism, although he's looked a little bit dodgy at times, he's responded well with solo goals. Once again, he equalizes for KSA. That's an air dribble over the top of Fairy Peak. Not many people can say they've done that. Fairy set up a double. Ahmed is there. We'll get it clear. It's not a good landing by Fairy Peak. Alpha's got to be careful. That touches into the middle, but he's recovered so well. Alpha, almost like a heat-seeking missile sometimes the way he finds the ball and also his opponents. Now Khaled, or Ahmed rather, doesn't have anybody to work with here, so he can't really center this. Just wanted to keep France pinned in. A couple of touches mid-air for Alpha, but Fairy Peak's got to kill some time now. Gets a little bit of a bump on him. He's up early, but not in the way of Ahmad who puts it straight through 2-0, or 2-1 rather, two goals for Ahmad. Khaled just chased Fairy Peak into the corner and Ahmad barely got it over him. So much lift on that second touch. Fairy Peak thought he would have got there, but although there was a sound on the ball, it didn't look like it actually made contact. If it did, it might have just accelerated the ball towards the France net. And this is actually ins insane. I don't think I've ever seen anyone make Fairy Peak and Alpha look this uncomfortable in 2v2. And it wasn't just a one-game fluke as well. They've done it for, this is now almost nine solid minutes. Look at that solo defense by O'Callaghan. Under pressure from Alpha, no big deal. Just jump over him, put the challenge in. And now they're just a minute and 16 seconds away from going ahead 2-0. Can Ferry pick an Alpha? Find an equalizer. They are not stringing together many chances at the moment. They're getting touches on the ball, but it's nothing that... KSA can't deal with. Alpha again looking for bumps on opposition. Harry Peak having to fly so high because he's scared of the aerials Ahmad has already done to them. 
in this game too. Very big to Alpha, defended well by Ahmad, who's stepping up huge in the second game. Another pre-flip by Ahmad, he doesn't make good contact, so Khaled alone at the back, it's very peak towards Alpha. Ahmad makes it to the box to defend. Alpha to the crossbar. Can't get the double touch, but in comes Ferry, it's wide open to all. And although Alpha hit this on a little bit too low to chase, it was too high for O'Khaled, and that was the key. He didn't really care too much about putting that on target as much as he did getting it high and away from the KSA goalkeeper. It's a good little back left kickoff by KSA, who've had the better kickoff set of the two teams. Oh my word, what a shot by Ahmad. O'Khaled is going to follow up, and that's brilliant. By KSA once again, the passing play right from the kickoff had France all over the place. Ahmad just letting loose after that pass from Khaled. Went straight into his path. 25 seconds left for France. They're down again. And oh, Khaled is on the ball. He's got a boost. Harry Peak shuts him down, but in comes Ahmad. Unless France can find some space. They're not going to have any more chances. Oh, Khaled has got Fairy Peak backed up into a corner. Fairy Peak comes out with the ball, though. He's trying to air dribble this one from deep. He's going to need to dunk it in, though, and it goes under him. Alpha is not there. Ahmad keeps it up for France. That might have actually helped them. It's given them half a chance. Pre-flip for Alpha. Khaled is ready at the back post and waiting to knock it clear. It's now KSA who look the more likely to score. France are doing the impossible to keep this up for so long. Hang on a second. That might be an opportunity. It looks like Fairy Peak's been eliminated, though. Surely that'll be the game. Khaled knocks it down. but Oh, Alpha keeps it up. Into Fairy we go. It is not quite over, but that's expertly done at the end of the game. KSA put it into the ground, and they're up 2-0 in the series. Crazy stuff. Who would have who would have expected France to be 2-0 down against anybody? I mean, you pick two. Fairy Peak, K-Dop, Alpha 54. I think, well, any of those guys are your top picks right now for France 2v2. Based on success that they've had in livestream show match environment, and of course ladder rank and experience playing together they they've got to be the the top picks surely but O'Callaghan and Ahmed have Bat got better synergy there's no doubt you think Batmobile for Fairy uh, it's going to be another Dominus game for Fairy here just your 250 bits by the way for soup you know Alpha and Fairy Peak have had a couple of moments where it doesn't look like they're on the same page Alpha ball chasing a little bit okay what hold on a second how on earth did Ahmad hit that Go so hard? Frenchies. Wow. <laughs> just like smashed it. I was not ready for that one. It looks like Fairy Peak wasn't either. The little swap of positions there for O'Callaghan and Ahmad. He disguised his run up behind the ball. So Fairy Peak didn't even see it coming. 1 0 already. Ahmad just getting in everybody's way here. So many flip resets and pre flips for KSA. Very difficult team to read. Yeah, there, there's definitely two stories to this game so far. It's been KSA, Synergy, and also insane solo plays that have had given them the edge in this matchup. And the solo plays for Alpha and Fairy Peak have not been as dangerous. We saw one flip reset for, for Alpha, but besides that, it's been mostly open nets and pressure goals, which are just as effective, of course, but... And you're running up against two players who are as confident as Ahmad and Khaled are. It's good to have the solo play potential in the back pocket because you are going to get a lot of chances in 2v2. Now there's Fairy with an early flick over Khaled's challenge. He's got Alpha inside, but great recovery by Khaled after missing a challenge. He's straight back into the play. And Alpha, you know, although he's pinched that ball pretty effectively, it is just a giveaway of possession. And now here comes Ahmed with the... Looks like a wave dash shot attempted. Fairy peek, knocks it to himself. He's knocked it high as well for... Alpha, but too high. KSA are just doing better and better at dealing with the French pressure as this game goes on. Or so it would seem. Fairy Peak's getting a lot more possession this third game than he has in the previous two. The Geb, thanks for a 20 quid donation of the prize pool. Alpha, okay, pretty nutty SA. ceiling shot attempt, but it's going to be KSA with a clear. Alpha was close, but not close enough. It's a good ball chase still by Alpha. Needed to close that ball down. Didn't want to give... Fairy Peak a headache defending another KSA solo play. Ahmed with a pinch shot. Does not work out. Alpha is easily 
Got the win on this race to the ball. Fairy Peak comes in with the dagger, 1-1. One, one. And it's looking like how most of the goals have happened for France. Just a center ball that does not get defended well. And one of them is there to smash it in. The only other thing that France have had, which has caused KSA a lot of problems, is the alpha demos, occasionally. But other times it's looking like they're causing problems for France, because Fairy Peak is not ready for just how much alpha is going to be doing it. Ahmed's got a little bit of alone time here, but pre-jump save for Alpha. And Fairy Peak going to try and bring it down. Not fast enough on the ground play, though, by him. And now here comes O'Callaghan. He is supersonic. Saved by Alpha. Bump onto Fairy Peak. Ahmed, open net. He set it into the crossbar. Rebound blocked by Alpha. Now Alpha's got space. Sides to go low. O'Callaghan just chasing in. Ahmed should have that one under control. Yes, he does. Huge clear. Alpha's ready for it. France are starting to close down the clears of KSA a little bit faster. The ground plays still look pretty scary. I don't think that France were ready for the speed and the efficiency of the KSA ground plays. A little reverse takeoff air roll shot for Alpha. Easily defended for KSA. Very peak into the air. Does not go for a flip reset. He's just going to try and 50-50 this, and he gets it under one. Pallet is backed off. The dodge by Fairy Peak, and the top corner shot. That's the solo play we've been waiting on. He needed to do everything right here. The little break check, and the jump over Ahmad's challenge. How about that for placement? A little boost, but who needs boosts if you're Fairy Peak? 2-1. France are not out of it just yet. This is the best game we've seen so far for Fairy. Quite some way. Ahmad has got some space. Alpha with a great challenge. And it, I, you know, I really can't stress enough how important it was for Alpha to get a challenge in early there. Fairy Peak wasn't going to be back for a while. Fairy Peak a bit too far forward. But he is going to get into defense in time. Oh, wow. Look at that. Three jump off this wall by Fairy. Looked like he was in an awkward position, but he did well. Alpha drills a shot down the middle. Now Khaled's up high, but Fairy Peak's got his number. Still, Fairy Peak looking like the one who's in control of this third game. He's been able to slow down the pace, and that has not favored KSA. Okali gets in the way of an alpha shot, which was on target, though. 56 seconds left. Back pass by Fairy. Alpha sitting deep. Now here he comes, looking for a flippery set of his own. He's close to the goal, and it's too close. Fairy Peak, though. Open net, and it's 3-1. And it's still Fairy Peak, who's getting everything to work for himself in this next game. You know, Alpha's flip reset didn't go on target, but it's still got the ball away from both KSA players. Will they be able to respond? Do they have anything left after Fairy Peak's woken up and given us the best performance for him that we've seen? That's a great save by Fairy. Dodges Ahmad's bump as well. Fairy's doing everything right here. And it's not just been a Fairy Peak 1v3. Alpha's had some clutch defensive tackles as well. 25 seconds left. Khaled gets it past Fairy. Doesn't look like he's got the boost to follow after it, and that's not a good save by Alpha, but that one is. Alpha 54 might have just confirmed the win for France there. Fairy Peak well aware of the attempted bump at, uh, coming in on the back wall. Stays well clear of danger, and that is going to be one game for France. KSA are not going to be given an easy series win. So going... Up 2-0. You thought maybe, just maybe, they were going to run away with it. But what a response by, by France and by Fairy Peak in particular. Slowing down the pace might be the answer to the KSA lineup. They've had no difficulty keeping up with France when France have tried to outpace them. But that little change up by Fairy Peak made all the difference. That solo goal as well. Perfect example. Alpha sends it back into the corner. Fairy Peak with a boost steal and a demo. It's a little boost shot for Alpha. Just going to test Ahmad. Look at that by Ahmad, though. Not only has he saved it, but he's also almost dribbled France in a solo counterattack. Pallet up early to block Alpha's shot. Took a little bit of damage in the air, though. And he's out of boost now. France with a momentary pressure play. The boost is spawning very, very soon. It looks like Ahmad 
decided to just go for the ball. It is there for Khaled, so he should be able to take this one under control. Alpha, Airwolf, Shaw on target. Khaled with a double save. It was an easy one after Alpha Shaw came in so slowly. Looks like we're back into game one vibes with Alpha being let loose by Fairy. I don't know if that's the right strategy here because Ahmed and Khaled have not had too much difficulty absorbing that pressure in the long run. Double demo attempted by Ahmad. Alpha's avoided it. He's going straight down the middle. He doesn't get underneath the ball enough with a flick. Rapey trying to get a pass and he's ran into a brick wall. Ahmad, out right. Flicks on target. Saved by Alpha. Such a fast paced lobby once again. Hey Mr. Cool, thanks for another tier 3 sub 4 months by the way. Welcome back. The Swampy91 with a 16 month prime. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, this is an over 8,000 MMR lobby. I don't know if we've ever had we've had we've had one lobby that was this this high rated on MMR. Oh, okay then. Once again, KSA with the passing plays half volley off the back wall by Khaled and Ahmad off the joint has just put KSA in front. They want this done and dusted. They want to get the win here, but that's a great kickoff by France. Their best one yet, in fact. It's been KSA who've been making the kickoffs go in their favor more often than not. Just a simple dead ball for France is all it took. Very peak in an awkward position here. He's done well. He's been starved of boost. Oh, that's very kind of KSA to just leave him the one in their back corner. Now Alpha's going to try and knock it middle for Ferry. Khaled's there to knock it clear. Now Ahmad, redirect from the midfield. Saved by Ferry. Khaled decides to back off. And Ahmad, as you should, Paul chases on the exit. He wants to make himself relevant. Ferry peak flip reset. Used it for a mind game. Let's go underneath. There's a light pinch center YouTube ball fan. by Alpha 54. New sub and first ever donation to add to the prize pool. Hey, Brian Luca, three next to the tenor of the prize pool. I'll add that in a, in a minute. Also got to remember to add Mr. Cool's uh, tier 3. I better do that right now because I'm really bad at those. Um, I always forget. He has Mr. Cool with two tier 3 subs in the past now. Hopefully it wasn't an accident. Ahmad, open that shot 2-0. And it is looking very, very bad for France. Fairy Peak was under so much pressure here. Khaled was coming at him. The ball was also popped in an awkward position. And it did not work out for him. Alpha just leaving Fairy Peak out to dry a little bit there. And Ahmad's mind game to Alpha. Now it's 3 0. Two minutes and eight seconds of the clock, and it's a one sided game here for KSA. Ahmad completely ruins Alpha, and Fairy Peak has not gone back fast enough. It looks like Alpha might have just gone a little bit too early on two challenges. Maybe a fake challenge and. Something slower would have been more effective, but oh, when you're up against an offense like this, what does it matter? Ahmad flip reset, barely saved by the joint of the crossbar and the post. And O'Khalid comes in again. It's France helpless in defense. They don't know where to go. Ahmad's got them strung up. And it doesn't look like France are going to be coming back in this one. Great counter to the KSA kickoff, though. But it looks like, oh, never mind. It looks like Khalid had it covered, but Fairy Peak barrels in. Well, look at that, it's Alpha countering the kickoff that KSA are known for. They go for a demo with their kickoff man on the cheater of the opponent. Alpha knows that they are going to be going for that a lot of the time in that position. Shuts it down, that's not a good hit for Alpha. Straight into Ahmad. Volley also comes in a little bit too early. The ball's not even bounced before Alpha's made contact. A very big too far forward. He does well to half flip back into position. Demo as well. Now he's passing to himself off the sidewall. Aerial shot blocked by Ahmad, who's gone from, you know, pretty dodgy early on in this series to being insanely clutch and now outstanding for KSA. Flip reset for Alpha. No, Fairy Peaks just come in and try to take it for himself. And once again, France can't get on the same page. KSA may just be the team to beat in 2v2 at the moment. They've got the solo plays but they've also got the synergy that no one else seems to be able to replicate. One minute left for France. Can they make the impossible comeback happen? Pre-flip for Ferry, he's almost through. It's O'Khaled 
Just tripping him up on the landing to prevent him from getting an unexpected breakaway goal. Can France make anything happen here? They've definitely got the mechanics, but do they have the time? A lot of time being wasted here. And once again, Kyler and Ahmed are not going to be beaten to the ball all that often. They have been France's equals for most of this series in terms of speed. I would even go as far to say they've been the faster of the two teams. And it looks like they are going to be locking in a 3-1 win against France in 2v2. They're going to remain undefeated in live stream show matches, which is unbelievable after you see what they've done in this one and the last. France fought back bravely, but it just was not meant to be. And there is the Never end of the game. I'd see France demolished KSA like this. Scripting are just all is too the good. only explanation. Scripted Go KSA. Hey, B Tech, cheers, sir. Is that twenty dollars to the price? Well, I think we've got um, fifty-five quid plus twenty dollars. I don't know uh, what that is. Let's see if Google will help me out. Okay, seventy-one pounds. I want seventy-one pounds in dollars. Probably like a, a ninety. Yeah, eighty, eighty-nine. So we'll call it ninety. So the KSA boys get forty-five each. Yeah, France are not going to be happy with that. I mean, they they know that they are the scariest team usually. Uh, the team that everybody's afraid of in 2v2. But old Khaled and Ahmed them three. have shown up today and they've been absolutely outstanding. So massive props to them. Slowing down the pace might be the answer to the KSA lineup. They've had no difficulty keeping up with France when France have tried to outpace them. But that little change up by Fairy Peak made all the difference. That solo goal as well. Perfect example. Alpha sends it back into the corner. Fairy Peak with a boost steal and a demo. It's a little boost shot for Alpha. Just going to test Ahmad. Look at that by Ahmad though. Not only has he saved it, but he's also almost dribbled France in a solo counter attack. Pallet up early to block Alpha's shot. Took a little bit of damage in the air though. And he's out of boost now. France with a momentary pressure play. The boost is spawning very, very soon. It looks like Ahmad decided to just go for the ball. It is there for Khaled, so he should be able to take this one under control. Alpha, air roll, Shaw on target. Khaled with a double save. It was an easy one after Alpha shot came in so slowly. Looks like we're back into game one vibes with Alpha being let loose by Ferry. I don't know if that's the right strategy here because Ahmed and Khaled have not had too much difficulty absorbing that pressure in the long run. Double demo attempted by Ahmed. Alpha's avoided it. He's going straight down the middle. He doesn't get underneath the ball enough for the flick. Very big trying to get it past and he's run into a brick wall. Ahmed outright. Flicks on target. Saved by Alpha. Such a fast paced lobby once again. Hey Mr. Cool, thanks for another tier 3 sub 4 months by the way. Welcome back. The Swampy91 with the 16 month prime. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, this is an over 8,000 MMR lobby. I don't know if we've ever had... We've had we've had one lobby that was this, this high rated on MMR. Oh! Okay then. Once again, KSA with the passing plays. Half volley off the back wall by Khaled. And Ahmad off the joint has just put KSA in front. They want this done and dusted. They want to get the win here, but that's a great kickoff by France. Their best one yet, in fact. It's been KSA who've been making the kickoffs go in their favor more often than not. But just a simple dead ball for France is all it took. Harry Peak in an awkward position here. He's done well. But he's been starved of boost. Oh, that's very kind of KSA to just leave him the one in their back corner. Now Alpha's going to try and knock it middle for Ferry. Khaled's there to knock it clear. Now Ahmad, redirect from the midfield. Saved by Ferry. Khaled decides to back off. And Ahmad, as you should, ball chases on the exit. He wants to make himself relevant. Ferry peak flip reset. Used it for a mind game. Let's go underneath. There's a light pinch center ball. By Alpha 54. Sub and first ever donation to add to the prize pool. Hey, Brian and Luca, three next to the tenor to the prize pool. I'll add that in a, in a minute. Also, got to remember to add Mr. Cool's uh, tier three. I better do that right now because I'm 
really bad at those. Um, I always forget. Yes, yeah, Mr. Cool with two tier three subs in the past now. Hopefully it wasn't an accident. Ahmad, open that shot, 2 0. And it is looking very, very bad for France. Fairy Peak was under so much pressure here. Khaled was coming at him. The ball was also popped in an awkward position. And it did not work out for him. Alpha just leaving Fairy Peak out to dry a little bit there. And Ahmad's mind game to Alpha. Now it's 3 0. Two minutes and eight seconds of the clock, and it's a one-sided game here for KSA. Ahmad completely ruins Alpha, and Fairy Peak has not gone back fast enough. It looks like Alpha might have just gone a little bit too early on two challenges. Maybe a fake challenge and something slower would have been more effective, but oh, when you're up against an offense like this, what does it matter? Ahmad flip reset, barely saved by the joint of the crossbar. And the post. And O'Kali comes in again. It's France helpless in defense. They don't know where to go. Ahmad's got them strung up. And it doesn't look like France are going to be coming back in this one. Great counter to the KSA kickoff, though. But it looks like... Oh, never mind. It looks like Khaled had it covered. But Fairy Peak barrels in. But look at that. It's Alpha countering the kickoff that KSA are known for. They go for a demo with their kickoff man on the... Cheater of the opponent. Alpha knows that they are going to be going for that a lot of the time in that position. Shuts it down. That's not a good hit for Alpha. Straight into Ahmad. Volley also comes in a little bit too early. The ball's not even bounced before Alpha's made contact. A fairy peak too far forward. He does well to half flip back into position. Demo as well. Now he's passing to himself off the sidewall. Aerial shot blocked by Ahmad, who's gone from. You know, pretty dodgy early on in this series to being insanely clutch and now outstanding for KSA. Flip reset for Alpha. No, Fairy Peaks just come in and try to take it for himself. And once again, France can't get on the same page. KSA may just be the team to beat in 2v2 at the moment. They've got the solo plays, but they've also got the synergy that no one else seems to be able to replicate. One minute left for France. Can they make the impossible comeback happen? Pre-flip for Ferry. He's almost through. It's Ocalad just tripping him up on the landing to prevent him from getting an unexpected breakaway goal. Can France make anything happen here? They've definitely got the mechanics, but do they have the time? A lot of time being wasted here. And once again, Khaled and Ahmed are not going to be beaten to the ball all that often. They have been France's equals for most of this series in terms of speed. I would even go as far as to say they've been the faster of the two teams. And it looks like they are going to be locking in a 3-1 win against France in 2v2. They're going to remain undefeated in live stream show matches, which is unbelievable after you see what they've done in this one and the last. France fought back bravely, but it just was not meant to be. And there is Never the end of the game. I'd see France KSA like this. Scripting are just all is too the good. Only explanation. Scripted, Go KSA. Hey, B Tech, cheers, sir. Is that twenty dollars to the price? Well, I think we've got um, fifty-five quid plus twenty dollars. I don't know uh, what that is. Let's see if Google will help me out. Okay, seventy-one pounds. I want seventy-one pounds in dollars. Probably like a, a ninety. Yeah, eighty. 89.